Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Lance, and today I'm doing a flip cup fluid art seascape. And I'm layering my cup here, as you see. And I'll talk about my paints in just a minute. But basically, what I want you to know is how I'm layering these cups is that top cup that you see that I just flipped will have more of the deeper shade of blue, a mid-tone blue, a light blue, and the white, but you're gonna put the cup that flips at the top, you're gonna put more of the deeper shades of blue in that cup when you flip it. And then I'm doing another one down below that, and that one is gonna have more of my mid-tone blue in it with not quite as much of the deeper blue, and not quite as much of the light blue and white and then I'm gonna graduate that down to a third cup and then you're gonna put mostly the light lightest color of blue and more white predominantly in there so that's kinda of how you wanna do that in order to create that kinda of nice depth of field for your sky Now how I like to do these fluid art seascapes and when I'm doing my skies, I like to do the dirty flip cups, but as you're tilting off the paint, you want to be working it, you want to be working it down and sort of diagonally and side to side, and um, but then trying to do it more extreme angle side to side so that you're creating kind of this horizon line kind of vantage point and creating you know these clouds that will look like they're kind of going you know horizontally across the horizon and you're trying to do this without losing too much of the cloud shape or the puffiness that can be created when you know there's cells that develop with the white that white cloud mix that I have you can see it's created some puffy shapes here and there and you want to make sure you don't get rid of all of those, but you've also got to kind of work some paint off so you don't have any cracking, but also kind of keep in mind that you're trying to work this side to side for that horizon kind of vantage point. Now, I liked my cloud shapes, but as you see here, I'm taking my palette knife and I'm just running it through some of the white and kind of swooshing it around to give um, or dimension to my cloud shapes and now I'm pouring my colors for the sea and I have a lot of different blues in there as well and I'll list those in uh, the description box I have some pewter in there I think a little bit I have uh, some beautiful color art colors in this piece I know I used some prison pour cerulean and I had mixed some uh, Mediterranean blue from primary elements and had that in there as well and I really love the sparkle that it gives this and even in the sky I think I had some of that Mediterranean a little bit um, you'll see it when I do the flyover close-ups just really really gorgeous sparkle in there and as you can see here too you have to work at pretty severe angles back and forth to kind of give that sea like quality to uh, the lower portion that I'm considering the sea right now and uh, yeah, you just have to work it back and forth. I use my stir stick a lot to also kind of delineate the horizon line. And, you know, whatever works. <laughs> um, I'm pouring a little bit more blue here to cover the last portion of it there. But then you're going to see I also use some gold. And I think I used the um, Deco Art. Uh, 24 karat but not the extreme sheen 
and I used some copper and I think maybe even some champagne or rose gold, I think rose gold maybe, as kind of what I was going to use for um, the shoreline. But I do something pretty interesting from here on out and you know sometimes plan plans change <laughs> as we go along and as you see there I have purposely used different pouring mediums um, if you mix your pouring mediums and you're using um, you know several different paints that could cause reactions you can get this uh, dendrite kind of on the horizon which I liked and actually as you can see here what I just talked about I put some of my warmer tones that were representative of like the shoreline there and did some flip cups for that and I thought it'd be kind of fun to just move them around in different kind of you know mountain hilly kind of looking dune like formations but I start to get something very interesting in the, the horizon line at the top and we're gonna keep going with that as time goes on but as you see here too I love kind of what the water is doing and the white that's in there kind of looks to me kind of like surf and as you can see you can see those bouldery cells growing in there that's from me using some of the deco art metallics and uh, yeah I really love what this is doing I love how kind of reactionary these paints are and that's Purposely what I wanted to do with this if you mix your pouring mediums and you mix some paints with Floetrol you I think I mixed um, I don't think I know I mixed uh, the primary elements with some Liquitex pouring medium and I think I mixed Another color. I think I might have even mixed some of the um, Prism pour with some GAC 800 just to kind of get it to a more liquidy consistency and just to make it more interesting when I did these dirty flip cups and I really really love the results that I'm getting and how just unusual the cell formations are I love how that surf is looking I took some close-ups of that surf and just kind of isolated those as pictures and they look really beautiful in that bottom lower left portion that you see there and uh, yeah just really fun and like I like how this is going and you can sort of see up top now between the horizon and where I put the gold and the rose gold and copper you can see how it's reacting there and making dendrites and they almost look like treetops um, which I thought was really beautiful and different and so yeah I mean sometimes you've just got to play around and you know know the rules but know how to break the rules and in this instance I really loved what's happening here and I'm also going to use the unicorn spit that I used in my uh, um, sunken treasure the, the last um, video that I did the golden sunken golden treasure I will put an end card here so that you please go catch that video if you missed it I would like you to go check it out it was a really really fun interesting video with a lot of different techniques. Now speaking of different techniques, as you can see here, some of you I'm sure know, but some of you may not know, Golden's High Flow Gold Fine will react really amazingly in wet paint uh, in your pour, if you have Floetrol in it, it will cause really, really amazing looking dendrites that will grow and grow. And so it's kind of a fun thing. I just wanted to kind of highlight it and embellish with it a little bit here. And so you see me running my skewer to kind of incorporate it more into the existing paint design and to help it kind of assimilate into the painting. And you know give it some highlight and give it some bling and also help those dendrites to grow especially with what you see me doing up there on the horizon uh, putting that up there where the dendrites are already growing you'll see kind of what this does and how kind of cool and interesting this becomes <laughs> and like in my video that I told you to kind of go check out the uh, Pearl Pour Golden Treasure this is Unicorn Spit Golden Gosling, and it is really gorgeous if you want a high, high, blingy gold within your paint pour. 
I suggest you get some of this. Um, and as you see it here, I call this threading. I'm just threading with the actual uh, bottle. You don't have to do anything except squeeze it out the bottle. You just have to have a fine touch and squeeze it and ease up on it and kind of pull it through and thread it through. And, you know, I'm kind of going along with the um, Golden's High Flow and kind of having them in tandem with each other and when you see what it does to that horizon line it's just kind of crazy how it makes those dendrites in the horizon expand you know I, I said before it almost looks like tree shapes and I thought a cool name for this piece might have been um, the river bend because it kind of almost looks like a river bend with the trees on the horizon there on the side of the river banks and here you can see the beautiful golden gosling in there and the high flow and i love how that blue i mean that looks just incredible like surf it's just really really beautiful seeing the white you know kind of like the surf white caps it almost look like waves crashing against rocks maybe rapids maybe rapids in the river um but it just beautiful and stunning. I love how that gold looks in there with the blue and you see all that sparkle. That sparkle is really from the color art colors. Um, the colors that I had mixed up and that I had used with my um, Liquitex pouring medium and in the blue they just give this beautiful sparkle and you can even see it in the sky. See those little sparkles up there in the sky and there's the really really cool horizon line with those really really interesting almost coral like shapes really um, but I just I just love that in the flyover I think that's you know pretty pretty stunning if you'd like to try some color art products for yourself I am a color art affiliate and if you just go to colorart.com I'll have a link in my description box and punch in Lance Travis 622 you can get a 25% discount off your entire purchase I also want to say I did a recent video of an ocean-themed Fibonacci pour, and I'm running a special competition in that video, so be sure and go and check that out, and you could win one of my flower fairies. I'm so thrilled to be back again in Perspectives of Pouring with Sheldon and Britta, and please come back and visit us again real soon.